What's up guys, Tattoo here bringing you, as you tell by the title, a uh, full Legends squad builder, full 11 Legends or featuring this uh, this side. I've had this side ages, well, I've played about with probably 25 to 30 Legends, all the ones probably under, everything under 30 mil, I've probably used them all. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about each individual player, because I'm going to put this, put this out. And then I'm going to play a review every player individually. So so the video doesn't drag out and I can get a bit more footage at the end. I'm uh, I'm literally just going to show you who I've got and who I paid, how much I paid for them. Something like that. And then as as I go through them, one by one over the, ne over the next week or so, there'll be a player review for each and every one of these players. If there's a particular player you desperately want to see a player review for out of this team when you've seen it first... Leave your you leave your comments in the um in the comment box and I'll do my best to do that player for you first or near the near the start. But anyway, because like I said, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into this squad builder now. Starting off in goal, used all three goalkeepers. Paid 510k for him. I've played over 200 games with him now, and he's by far the best goalkeeper out of the, out of the three legend goalkeepers. So Layman goes there. Right back, you know, it's not going to take a miracle to work out who right back is, considering there's only one on the game. Gary Neville. Thought Lahm was the best. Thought Lahm, between Lahm and Danny Alves, best two right backs. I got it wrong. Forget, forget stats, lads, on these guys. That is, they're, they're, they're just nothing like it. You've got to play with them to see what I mean. 146 games with him. Um, so only scored one goal. That was probably a penalty as well. Uh, and 30 assists, but yeah, great player. Really enjoy playing with the whole of this team. Oh, I'm going to do first bit. It's the bit of the sweaty part of the team. This is the only bad thing I have to do, but he is left-footed, and in his in-game stats, it does say he can play left-back. So I've got De Boer as left-back. 228k I paid for him. I think it's come down quite a bit now. 194 games. I've played more like 500 with him because I had him on my other account in my original Legends team before I changed over to this account. And, I'd and I've literally had him since the start. or Not this card, but different cards. I've had him from the start. And 86 overall rated. He's a tank for that. Right, first of the centre-backs. We'll put it'll move over to here. Uh, Roy card. Again, I just can't say nothing, nothing bad about any of these players. Like I said, I will play, review them all. Go into more detail. I paid 428 for him. Um, played 203 games with him, scored three goals at the moment on this card. Again, most of these players I have had in my original squad on my other account, and um, these are all newly bought when I when I when I opened my new account. So I've played a lot more games with them, so I've I've got a good idea of every single player. But 200 games anyway, that's still plenty to uh, of an idea of a player. Next, this tank, and I mean tank, and as you'll see in the review, 500k I paid for him. 213 games with him, 13 goals and 8 assists. CDM. This team, I just try and think of something. Like, every time I think of it, I'm about to say my favourite player, in the um, favourite legend, because they're all brilliant in this squad. They might be there, you might be sitting there thinking, there's, oh, there's Patrick Vieira. There's three other centre-backs that are like, um, probably about a million coins. I've used all of them. And this is the team I am happiest playing with and the best I have took into consideration money value because if you think you can get the Boa for 200k uh, or the, I've forgotten his name, the Spanish geezer, for example, for a mil, 200 and some k to a mil. And believe me, you can't tell the difference. 89 to 86 rated or 90 or whatever the Spanish geezer is. But yeah, there'll be a player review for him as well. But Effenberg, Tank, right. Probably my weakest link in the in the side. Not 100% on him. But again, to, I've used Pires. I haven't used Figo yet. I've used Pires. And Pires was a, was, wasn't was a massive difference for 600-odd K difference in price. And don't get me wrong, Lundberg has his moments. But out of everybody, if I was to say on here, the least happiest with out of this team, it would be Lundberg. This guy is brilliant. Dribbling, ball control and... And he's right, he's left footed, which I normally like a right foot on the left, but his right foot is banging. I paid 415 for him. I think he's might have come down or gone up, I'm not sure now. Um, I haven't checked on all the prices. 
you when you see my player review and you see my next couple of videos you'll see why i'm getting out a player uh, a squad builder and in a bit of a rush really because some something comes some it's come up that i'm uh, planning on doing with that black chris massacre uh, which is going to be pretty mental but anyway 192 games played with him five star weak foot four star skill moves all this squad will be coming back to me once i've once it is being sold and then i'll be i'll be um i'll be buying it all back after i've done what we've got planned Cam, Hernan Crespo, again, all you can describe him as is tank. Couldn't even think of a bad point on him. If I had to say anything, he probably feels a little bit slow now and again. But other than that, that's it. Right, then right striker with a left foot, because I'll cut him. That's how I like to play. Pushing to be my favourite striker on the game. Definitely my favourite left-footed striker on the game. I've used Messi. Um, this guy I would have all day long. 675k is about a third of his price. 203 games, 137 goals. Um, yeah, just wait for the reviews to see some of this guy's goals. He's, he is insane. And then just as insane, but triple the price... Is probably what I'd say. He might be my favourite, but I will actually probably go as far as saying at the moment until I'm lucky enough to try some of the some of the bigger players that have come out since Legends. This guy is the best striker on the game. I've used Ebra. I've used Ebra's first in form. Um, this guy is just unreal. 124 games, 100 goals. It could have been a lot more than that. I've, he creates that many chances and that many shots for himself. It's unreal. His ball control's great. I can't really think of what his weakest point, if I'd have to say his weakest point, he's probably winning the ball back with tackles and he's a striker, so it ain't a massive issue. But anyway, guys, um, I hope that's that's my squad. This, this squad I will be buying back, every single player. Maybe I would change Lundberg. But even if I had the money for more expensive, more expensive like the three centre backs, I was on about. I've used Desai, I've used Vieira, I've used. Uh, you'll see in my reviews. I've, I think it was twenty eight or twenty nine legends all in total. I've, I've counted. I've used, and I'm not obviously the left back. He fits best at left back, being left footed. Not sure if any of the other three main ones are left footed, but he's only two hundred k anyway, so he fits there. Neville's the only right back. Them two centre backs, and then if I stick with this formation, which I like with a CDM and a cam, it gives it a good mixture. Um, then, which I haven't used this, I used to play three at the back. This is the first time I've changed with this with this one to here. Um, Paolo Future, I've used Nedved. I think that's the only other left left sided legend, isn't it? Um, I've used Nedved. He's actually right footed on the left, which I thought I would love. Paolo Future's right foot is actually better than Nedved's stronger foot, if you get what I mean. Like I said, only player I may consider changing would be Lundberg for Pires. Do want to try Figo, whether that happens or not, I don't know. Suka, there's only Fowler and that other one sh legend striker left-footed. So not really an option there with them either. And Kluivert's just immense. He is a bit expensive, not so much expensive for him, but he is expensive compared to some. Because, lads, if you've got the money, believe me, I'm not sure how much he is now. Try Henrik Larsson. Because I was so... It's, forget money. I'm that close to between Cliver and Larsson. Only reason that Cliver gets it is the the six foot two factor and the four skills four weak foot. Whereas Larsson's slightly smaller, not got as good heading stat. And he's got three star weak foot, three star skills. But, lads, if you can't afford Cliver and you can afford a legend... Please try Larson because I'll be doing a player review on him as well. And he, he's, he's a quality player for his money. But anyway, I've gabbled on. I said I wouldn't. So I'll probably cut most of the crap out, which will be a lot of the video. So it'll probably be down to it's now on nine and a half minutes. So it'll probably be down to two minutes, lads. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Well, like I said, there is a reason why I'm making this squad builder a bit quicker than I would have liked to have done. I've had to record all their stats for their in-game stuff because they're all going on the market now. I'll give you one little clue. There's a couple of people on the bench. They're going to be featuring in my next squad. And the next squad is going to be insane. You're looking at 12 to 40, between 12 and 14 million coin squad builder in one squad. So 
lads, if you ain't subscribed and you want to see some a mental squad, it's going to be mental as well. Get onto that for me. Subscribe, hit the like button, any comments, if you think I chat shit, if you think I'm a dick, tell me in the comments. I won't listen to you, but you can have your opinion. And uh, take it easy, lads. Any of you want a game on Xbox, Tattoo J Lee 13, send me an invite. I'll play you at, I'll play you at games. Don't beg because I've got money. I've got things I need to do first. Once I'm, I'm sorted on YouTube and I have tried all the players I need to try on FIFA 14, streaming and giveaways will be like there was on 13. Anyone who knows me on 13, I used to give away hundreds of K a night. And that's no exaggeration. Anyone that's been in my stream will tell you. Um, I think that's about it now. So anyway, crackheads, take it easy. And I'll, uh, I'll look forward to you watching this, the next few videos that come out because they are going to be mental. of a very tasty variety. So difficult with the ball running away from you. As the header goes out of play. Oh, it's in from that range. And that was a bit of a hit and hope, but the hope turned into reality. Well, he's known for his long range shooting. This is the chance, and he takes the shot. That's a very good goal. All credit to these players. I'm sure that they are partying tonight. It looks that way, and uh, this is a team I think that can actually do well in the higher division as well. Shuka. He's being challenged now. And he's caught the goalkeeper out. He scored from improbable. He has absolutely battered that past the goalkeeper. Well, they just stood off him as if to say, go on, then have a go. We don't fancy it, but have it. Madule, and the opponents come in strongly. He caught the goalkeeper out, he scored! From improbable... Patrick Clivert. He caught the goalkeeper out with that long-range shot. Absolutely battered that past the goalkeeper. Well, they just stood off him as if to say, Go on, then have a go. We don't fan. Got to be. And he scores. Well, we knew it would be dangerous to rule them out, and that really proves the point. Well, they've got it in the on the side. Oh, the player running forward. The back line holding still. That was an extremely tight one, but he got it right there on the far side. He's in. Climate. Goal. Tough times for the man in goal. Yeah, and that's the nature of the business, isn't it? Between the sticks. If you Good uh, target play by Crespo. They found him easily there. Going for power from long range. It is some hit for that goal. Didn't he just? He's a long way out, but the keeper had absolutely no chance. It flew into the net from a long range. Dangerous moment. Uh, Crespo going in. Goal! Fant well, that is just where he loves the ball to be dropped. In he goes to attack it, in the ball goes into the net. Well, the opposition didn't need telling that that was his strength in the air, and they've been... Takes the shot off. He's blocked it there. Uh, Crespo going in. They have taken the lead. Well, well played here by them, because they've got the lead in extra time. They've had to work so hard for it. Well, they were brave as well in possession. They took a chance, and they've got the reward. That's it, finish. Well, there's a chance for him. Could it be? And the chip. It's in. Fantastic. Goalkeeper came off his line. Really challenging the attacker to do that. But he's done it. He's... Struck it on the volley. Saul Campbell. And that deflection off the defender was crucial to the goal. Class. Well, it was such a beautifully delivered corner that uh, he just felt it was going to end up with a goal.